G'day guys, how's it going? Wow, it's crazy down the street today. Just doing a bit of shopping. I'm about to go and hook on the caravan and uh, go for a quick overnighter or maybe two nights. Just out bush somewhere. Up by the river, River Murray. But the shops and gone a bit mental. There's a bit of a bit of a I think everyone's a bit worried about COVID lockdowns. Melbourne or Victoria just went into lockdown yesterday. And then overnight, for some reason, a couple of teenage girls from Victoria hitchhiked across the border into South Australia and jumped on a school bus this morning with a heap of other kids at Victor Harbour. So I think everyone's a bit worried about South Australia going into a lockdown. So yeah, everyone's not panic buying, but it's busy. <laughs> You'd think everyone would have, um, everyone would be stocked up by now. So I've got a few groceries, a couple of sausages, a bit of bacon, some eggs. So now it's um, it's a quarter to four in the afternoon. I've got a spot picked out. Um, but it's 110 kilometres away. According to Google, it's going to take me an hour and a quarter to get there. That makes it five o'clock. What time is sunset? Today, the sun will set at 5.12 p.m. Okay, so that's... That'll give me 15 minutes of daylight. Hmm, not ideal. There's nobody here. Last time I camped, just down that area, right over there. There's a toilet just here, but it's a It's one of those long drop toilets. <laughs> it's pretty gross. I reckon I might go down that way this time. Down there and across. There's a bit of a dry creek bed down there, so I might go down there, cross over the creek. And yeah, I'm gonna get back out on the road through here going just over there. Down in here. Now, where shall I camp? Not right here, this is sort of the entrance. Could go across there. The only thing I'm wary about is I've got a really short drawbar on this caravan. So those sort of... Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about taking on steep or deep little... little gullies like that. Well, it's not that steep. Oh, that should be fine. There's this drawbar. 
is short. Okay. Yeah, I might go down there. Head up the back over there. drag the ass a bit there. <laughs> oh. There's a campfire spot just here. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Cookaburras. What's that up there? I can see lights. Must be a house up there. There's kookaburras over there. I love the sound of kookaburras. They are fantastic. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. It looks quite level. Nothing above me. Bit of a fire pit there. That's yeah, not very level at all. Mm, all right, I'm running out of light, so I'll stop filming. Stop mucking around. <laughs> I'll uh, get set up and I'll get back to you. And it is cold. It's going to be a cold night. I'm not sure uh, exactly how cold it's going to get. Where's my phone? Hey Google, what's the temperature going to be tonight? Strathalban, expect a temperature of nine degrees. Nine degrees in Strathalban, that's home. It's 100 kilometers away. Where am I? Little town called Black Hill is just up the road. And I'm in Black Hill. It's going to be three degrees tonight. <laughs> three degrees. Ouch. 16 tomorrow. I do have a diesel heater, but I haven't installed it yet. I'm still trying to work out where I'm going to put it. G'day guys. Well, it was cold. <laughs> it was freezing. Well, not freezing. Maybe it was freezing. There was a bit of ice on the uh, on the car this morning. But it's a beautiful day today. Cold but beautiful. There's the setup. <sighs> Got here too late to worry about a fire last night, so. I just cooked inside. This is the caravan. It's a it's an old van. It's like 1980 Viscount Grand Tourer. But it's good for this sort of rough bush camping. <laughs> Real rough, eh? Mm. But yeah, it's a good little van. It um I bought it from a place in Murray Bridge and it used to belong to a farmer from down the southeast. So he's done a few interesting modifications to it. But yeah, this is where I'm camped. This is um, uh, Black Hill. There's a memorial up here 
next to the toilet block. But I can't believe I'm here by myself. It's actually a really big area. There's a creek running through here, through the centre, that I came over last night. We've got a big flat area here where I am. It's a bit rugged over there. Lots of fallen trees and stuff. But over here, there's, there's like heaps of room. This is the little, uh, little creek that I drove through last night. See if I did scrape. Something scraped there. What would that be? That would be my spare tyre, I reckon. Yeah, it looks like my spare tyre uh, scraped on the ground there. Yeah, beautiful. Here's the track down. You can drive all through here. Galah's making a bit of noise. There's a couple up there, I'm not sure if you can see them. Checking me out. This is this is a nice little area here. Beautiful. There's the toilet block. Yeah. It blows me away. I guess it's not really near the river. A lot of people go camping, they want to be by the river. But I, uh, I like going bush. And this is just perfect. That's a magpie. Yeah, beautiful. Actually, it was, a, it was a nice, nice night last night. I'm still learning how to use this GoPro. I set it up to do a, um, a time lapse of the moon rising up through the trees. There was a bit of cloud cover for a bit of drama, but yeah, I screwed up the settings. It didn't work out. I have to do a bit more study on how that's done. And I'll have a go again, maybe tonight. But yeah, not a cloud in the sky today. Okay, I lie. There's some clouds over there. <laughs> but it's uh, it's fresh. Beautiful. Look, there's, yeah, there's heaps of space. This is where I came in. Still heaps of room over here. There's room for plenty of campers. And it's a weekend. It's Saturday. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'd rather have it to myself. I got the solar panels out. Just topping up the battery. I think today is just going to be chill out, relax. Read a book. If I bought my Kindle, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, actually I'm, I'm on the wrong side. If I want to sit in the sun, <laughs> I've got to be on that side. I kind of assumed the sun would rise over there, but it rose over there. Which makes sense because it's winter. That's north. Well, it's always winter. Anyway. I've cooked breakfast, bacon and eggs. I've done the dishes. I might just sit back and relax, enjoy the serenity. All right. Just 
gonna go for a quick walk up to the toilet block. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of long drop toilets. And last time I was here, this one looked pretty, pretty bad. It's a beautiful day. I do have my own portable toilet that I keep in the caravan. But it's best not to use it if you, if you can help it. But it's there just in case of emergency. I know I'm out bush, but I'm in a campground. You don't really want to be digging holes and leaving your crap everywhere. There's nothing worse than going to a rest area or a campground and there's just toilet paper everywhere. That's that's bad. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Park is dedicated to the memory of Councillor John S. Christian. Hmm. There you go. John S. Christian. I think I should have parked the caravan down here somewhere. Then I can get the afternoon sun. Where I am, way over in there, it's uh, it's in the shade, which is good in summer, but in winter, it's bloody freezing. His and hers. <laughs> I won't take you any further. Yeah, I think I might move the, the caravan. I'm in the shade of these big trees at the moment. But over near the toilet block, there's a good area of sun. Just for just for a bit of extra warmth and, um, and give the solar panels a chance to recharge the battery a bit. So I did move the van, I took advantage of the sunlight and put the solar panels out and recharged the uh, the battery while I was recharging my laptop. That was good, it was a bit warmer over this side of the, the site in the direct sunlight. Uh, but now it's, um, it's about quarter past seven and 
sun's well and truly gone and it's getting cold it's going to get down to one degree tonight so yeah i didn't do much for the rest of the afternoon um yeah had a bit of a play with a drone and that was about it had to learn how to fly it again it's been a while so yeah just a relaxing afternoon just hanging out in the van there's one other caravan here tonight set up a couple of hundred meters over that way um I said I had a fire going. I didn't worry about a fire. Yeah. So, I don't know. If it gets too cold tonight, maybe I'll just drop the top and wind the legs up and head on home. But uh, otherwise, I'll get up tomorrow morning and probably head for home. All right. Good night. Well, good morning, guys. Oh. It's about 6.30 a.m. The sun's about to come up. It is freezing cold. Oh, I've got my gloves on. And I've run out of gas. So I need to switch over the gas bottle. But, oh, my hands are so cold. <laughs> oh, and it's tight. And there's nothing worse than working with hand tools when it's freezing cold. I think the temperature would have to be below freezing oh yeah it is icy cold this morning the sun's just starting to peak up above the little hill there Ooh, I'm just packing up ah oh, I changed over the gas bottles from that one to that one but it's still really slow like not getting much gas flow. I think it might be just because of the temperature, maybe. I'm not sure. But those bottles have been on there since I got the caravan. Um, and I have no idea how much gas is actually in them. Hmm. Anyway, I'll uh, get this packed up. Get on the road, head home. Didn't have any breakfast because the, uh, the gas is a bit weak. Oh, ice crystals. It's cold. Right, hey, let's get this show on the road. You like my hat? I bought this hat as a joke years ago when I went to uh, the high country, I think. I actually wore it last night in bed. <laughs> Very handy. Oh, it's colder than I thought. According to the car, it's minus three degrees. It's starting to warm up a little bit now, the, the car's heaters are kicked in. Yeah, that was a pretty uncomfortable morning. It was nice in bed, I got up about 6.30 and I thought, yeah, it's about zero, maybe minus one. Then I came out to the car and looked at the car temperature and, it's, and uh, it was minus three. I was putting down the pop top and I noticed all the condensation in the caravan was actually frozen. Yeah, cold morning. Not enough gas, I had just enough gas to boil the kettle. Um, not enough gas flow really. I think the LPG gas bottles get too cold and they don't create enough vapour. So yeah, but it's going to be a beautiful day. It's a, a cloudless sky. Very nice. So I've got about 100 kilometres to get home. Um, I might have some breakfast. It's about 8.30 now. I didn't worry about trying to cook bacon and eggs because of the, uh, yeah, the gas situation. And I still can't, still can't clean my windscreen because my washer fluid is frozen. G'day guys. So I'm at Murray Bridge. Um, just stopped to cook up some breakfast. And I pulled up in the car park by the river. Very nice. Yeah. It's warmed up a bit now. It's probably I don't know, six or seven degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, much more comfortable. <laughs> right, I'm going to eat this. Drink my coffee. And then head for home. 
Oh, you know, I'd love to have a caravan with a bit of headroom. Woo! Bacon and eggs are done. It's, uh, what's it, quarter past ten now. So, time to head home. I'm in Murray Bridge. And home is, uh, I don't know, 40, 40 kilometres, 45. Beautiful spot here by the by the river. Lovely. There's some event happening there. There's a, there's a big mob of people there. In 500 metres, turn left onto Sturt Reserve Road. It's actually a really, really nice day. It's starting to warm up now. The sun's uh, the sun's got a bit of warmth in it. That's very pretty. Still saying six degrees, but I don't know. If it was warmer than that in the sun. Uh, it's the worst part of any trip heading home, and then when you do get home, cleaning up. <laughs> Take the next left onto Sturt Reserve Road, then turn right onto Olympic Drive. Thanks for coming camping with me. Looking forward to doing it again. <laughs> See you later.